What's up, guys? Andy Drifter here. I hope you're having a wonderful July the 4th weekend. A lot of baseball going on right now. At the moment, the Phillies are having their way with the Nats. I am holding a 35-card hanger box of 2023 Heritage Baseball. Heritage from this year's set has been very good to me thus far. Pulled a black and white variant as well as a mini image variant of L. Bob. Who knows what awaits us here? Teoscar Hernandez. Juan Soto, who's starting to turn things around, got the batting average up a little bit. Power numbers are getting better. Tommy Edmond, Jonah Heim, Paul Goldschmidt, your reigning NL MVP, Merrill Kelly, one of the top three candidates for NL Cy Young at the moment, Brian De La Cruz, you know, all the hypes around Ellie De La Cruz, but Brian, he's having a pretty solid season as well. Marlins, right now they occupy, I do believe, the first wildcard spot. Jazz Chisholm, Marlins, Trey Mancini, Mike Trout, uh, if you're wondering uh, why there is no name, uh, I guess uh, in 1974 they were called the Anaheim Angels. Maybe that's why. Somebody told me the reason. I don't remember. Will Smith, Wilmer Flores, Kyle Schwarber from my Phillies having somewhat of a freakish stat line among the league leaders in home runs, but batting under the Mendoza line. And it's been like that all season. But he does so many things that uh, you may not necessarily pick up on the stat sheet in terms of working the count. Very valuable player to the Phillies. Brendan Rodgers leading the Rockies in home runs at the moment. Then and now, Louis Tiant and Nathan Yavaldi. Justin Turner. Hugh Darvish. Drew Smiley. And Caleb Killian to end things. All right, folks, that is it for this break. I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll be doing breaks or lottery scratch-offs all throughout the night. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thanks for watching.